three, two, one, go. Monsters, it's me, alright? That's Spend GFM. You recognise the face. After a little weekend's break, we are back with Spal, and it is the Espalian job. And today, then, two matches at Spezia Calcio and AS Livorno. Uh, it sounds like a, some sort of qualification, doesn't it? Yeah, I've just got my AS Livorno class. Now, since we last met in the 4 2 defeat, but went through uh, in the cup final, the Tim Cup final, we have played AC Milan. It was a 2 0 defeat. Correa got the first, and Bonaventura on 45 got the goal. I would say if I'd have won it, I'd have said it was a relatively even game. So despite the fact we lost it, relatively even game, didn't really have that many chances. Nobody played that well apart from Captain Ruben Diaz, who always puts in a performance. Uh, and then it was a 3-0 against Kievo, a win at long last. They kicked things off with their own goal two minutes in. And then Dorian Heiser, 85 minutes on the clock, uh, gets an all-important winner. And a lovely free kick from him, uh, from him as well, showing off his Albanian roots. Uh, so there you are then, finally a win on the board at long last. And we now go into games against Spezia Calcio and Livorno. Of course... Part of the run uh, that's, that kicked off quite a good middle part of the season. We need to go on a similar run today if things are to work out in our favour. So, without any further ado, let's introduce you to today's team. So frustratingly, Spira and Diaz both out injured. Uh, have both picked up injuries. Spira out for 6 to 11 days. And Ruben Diaz out for 14 days. He's going to be a massive miss. Bastoni and Scrivani then create a partnership at the back. Baloko and Trent Alexander-Arnold on either side. Rico is going to get the starting goal. Pozovec, I'm just not feeling Pozovec at the moment. Uh, Miranda will start in the midfield. With Batista in central midfield support. You may well have seen he scored against Kiev, so we'll keep him in there. Next to Luca, Bon Jovi is the shadow striker behind Heiser and Lasagna. Uh, the only reason he's playing shadow striker is that the one time he did he scored a goal not in the league though still in the cup so he had to score in the league in fact should we change it around again let's go for advanced playmaker on attack there we go Bon Jovi's got to score at some point right right so can we get the win the bench is looking relatively strong but with these injuries and uh players unable to play it's not ideal they're playing a 4-4-2 Kappa and Spada up front uh the Az I will call them because they've both got ah at the end of their name. It's not as catchy as herbs and spices. I miss the fact herbs and spices aren't a thing anymore. I just, I just used to quite like saying it every episode, but I don't I don't anymore. Hold on a cotton pick a minute. What is this? Spezia Calcio play on a hockey pitch. Beautiful. Look at the state of this. Look at the state of this. Look how much space I've got. In fact, fill it, Ben. What, what else should we get on here? I think we should look at... Let's just, just get a little match report in the bottom corner. Why not? What else can we get? Focus of attacks, get that on the screen. Action zones. We'll get some action zones over here as well. Just fill it. Chance. This is ridiculous. If you make that smaller. I mean, I mean what more do we... Latest scores, pop them on. There's only one match going on, forget it. I know on the attack, folks, but let's get... I mean, the radar might be the most useless thing on Football Manager, really. Come on, a radar. All right, little radar. Pop that on there. T tell me at any point if it gets a bit busy. If it's a bit too busy, let me know. And uh, I'll... I'll restrain myself a little bit as they come forward and uh, Rico claims it. We'll keep going. Get our formation on here as well. Maybe we'll just bring the lead table over here. Formations up there. Maybe we'll, we'll get their formation as well. There you are. So there we are then. It's, it's, a, it's a makeover. Uh, Batista shot. Saved. Uh, it, for those who obviously ask why can't I get all this sort of stuff on my screen, it's just my monitor size is, is probably bigger than maybe a laptop or something like that. Look at that. I mean, this this is basically what the new game will look like. This is FM18. This is pretty much it. Get all the widgets and uh, have a good time. All right, Kevin Lasagna is on it. And um, Barloco, left side, if he takes his man, pulls it back. Carter gets there, though, and plays it back to the goalkeeper. Uh, it's been a very dull game so far. We've had a couple of shots on target, but nothing really to speak of. Bon Jovi into Dorian, who's got a chance, finds Kevin Lasagna. And oh, Kevin Lasagna. Oh, Kevin Lasagna. Ah, oh, starting the week off right. I don't want to say these look a bit weird now, just on the screen. As Kevin, I mean, he lashes it home, doesn't he? My goodness gracious. You've, you've, had, you've had your fun. I'll get, get, tidy it up, for goodness sake. It's like when you used to make a den when you were little. Did anyone used to make a den? And then you'd realise afterwards, ah, oh, I've, I've got to put the den down now. Well, at half time then, 1-0. Um, just thinking about dens I used to make. You get like the clothesline thing and you put a blanket over it. Oh, best of times. In all seriousness though, seriousness though, look at it. Right, We'll bring the league table out. We'll, we'll get that out to its full potential. We'll do the same thing with this. I mean, there you are. Actually, looking at the league table as it is, we've gone fourth. We've gone above Napoli. They do have a game in hand on us, though, which is a bit unfortunate. But we'll be on to 53. And if we can stay above them, then everyone's loving life as the uh, the game continues. And Rico, he could score from there if he tries hard enough. Up towards Luca, who heads it on. And now uh, they've got some work to do. I don't like playing on pitches this small. I, I feel like we're not in any way 
in our comfort zone as uh, they bring it down that side into Greco, who shot past Rico, finds the back of the net, and it's 1 1. It's just too easy to get it from the keeper into the area. I don't like it. As he, he drills it into him, and then Greco just uh, just pokes it past. I mean, Rico's not tried there, has he? Okay, instruction wise, let's play a little bit wider, I think. Let's try and make the pitch a bit bigger, and we'll go slightly more direct because the more direct you go, the quicker the, towards the goal it goes. We're just looking for a bit of a knockdown, see if we can get it. This might be the sort of game, actually, where Brit Britton uh, is useful. Get Kevin off. We'll put Bon Jovi out on the right-hand side as a winger. Heist it through the middle and just, just see now. Playing a little bit wider if we'll, we'll get in behind them. Balls into the middle. Crosses. That's what I'm thinking. Let's exploit both flanks. Heist a free kick. Dorian. Oh, do mm, Dorian. It was close. It's just unnerving me. Bon Jovi ball in. Headed down. Oh, back of the net. Bastoni with it. Bon Jovi with another assist. And Alessandro Bastoni. I wasn't expecting it to go in. I'm going to be completely honest. But it has done. Into the back of the net. I mean, <laughs> look at their stadium smaller than ours. Bless them. They've got, they've got all sorts of walls, I imagine. There we are, though. 2-1 back in the lead. Again, we've been dropping points in silly games. Recently beat Chievo, who are, well, they are bottom of the league. But we still beat them, right? You can only beat what's put in front of you. And actually, Spezia Calcio, 10th in the league table. One of the better sides all facing this run-in. But a lot of the sides in the run-in are down there. That They're amongst the bottom lot. So we've, we've got to try and start something. I think earlier in the season, we drew with Spezia Calcio. So if we can get the win against them and then go on a little run ourselves, then that should be fine. Miranda out towards Bon Jovi. Not the best. And our Lucas on it as well, though. He's got men all around him. That's Miranda. Back to Scrivani. You can already see the pace in which you can get it to the front men is a bit ridiculous. Ball play back to Rico, who could find Heiser here. He looks for him. Headed forward again. I just hate the fact we're on a stupid pitch. Play it back inside. It's been knocked out to him. Kappa's in on goal. Rico with a save. Rebound. Oh, no, not quite offside. Still 2-1. Let's go a little bit more conservative. We'll go more counter attack in but okay there's there's no time left as luca gives it to dorian that my friend should be that as the ball's cleared nearly into a chance immediately but there we are then specio calcio one it's uh spell 2k 13 2 and we take a lead and we go into fourth position on to the next one could this be the start of the run that's the question we need to go on a little bit of a run kevin lasagna and bastoni with the goals no goal for dorian heiser who's been in good form recently so i'm a bit surprised and of course now we've got a cup final to look forward to as much as i want to get back into the champions league we've got a cup final come the end of the season there's lots of games as well happening on the sunday now and we play lavorno on the wednesday night so we'll see how we get on as uh trent Alexander arnold's gonna be suspended for that game which isn't annoying at all is it trent oh wait Yes, it is. And Badini then is going to have to come in and play for him uh, when the time arrives. I think we'll still be without Diaz and Spira. So we'll, we'll, we won't be at full strength. But against Livorno, you'd expect to win, right? Interestingly, Napoli won their game. Uh, how's that affected the league table? I assume there's some sides up there. I mean, Inter lost. Uh, Milan and Juve drew. Let's just take a quick look at the league table then. So you can see there, Napoli winning their game. Put them back ahead of us. Uh, Juve probably not going to be able to catch them now. And Napoli winning their game. Bit annoying. Right, folks. Livorno it is. And I think team-wise, apart from Bedini coming in for Trent Alexander-Arnold at right back, everything else remains the same. As I say, Diaz and Spiro still are injured. Uh, Alexander-Arnold now with the suspension. And there's no real need to change anything else. We looked good in the last game. We got the win. We need to follow that up again with another one straight away against Livorno. They're in 16th. We play Bari after this. They're in 20th. So the game's coming up. As I say, we've got to be taking maximum points. And it all starts with Livorno. So pass it up front for them. Decent. And to be aware of uh, across the board. Actually, Bojan playing in behind. Some familiar faces. They've got two players in the middle, though, that are injured. So we're just going to just gonna quietly tackle them very hard. We'll try and close them down as well. They're not, make them feel uncomfortable. Get stuck into them. Make them feel like they don't belong in spell. Look at this. Look at the mess we've made. I've got to make these smaller now. <laughs> That's, that's, how, that's the difference right there. Right then, we've got to beat them. It, it's There's no bones about it. We've got to be in our finest of forms as uh, they have the first chance of the game. Ball played into the middle. I do worry about not having someone like Diaz in the middle, though. It's going to be a problem for us as um, Livorno take a 1-0 lead. 22 minutes in. Good. Not good. Why do I always say good? I know it's sarcastic, but it just makes me... It, all of a sudden, I think, oh, if it, if it's good. It's not good. Ball on that right side, whipped into the front post, and... Right, hold on. I don't want to say that's not defending from this guy on the line, but all I would question is, if you're not looking at the ball, Barloco, how are you, I mean, move, zoom, hmm, how are you expecting to know what to do if you're literally looking the wrong way? And then it hits him, and then what's his reaction to that? Barloco? Oh, I've looked the wrong way. Idiot. What is that all about? If he's not front on facing, how am I supposed to block it? 
if that was successful, goalkeepers would spin around for penalties, wouldn't they? But that's not what happens. Boloco has literally just gone loco on me there. All right, I've lowered the tempo over so slightly, and now we have ourselves a chance. Miranda into Boloco, back into Batista. You can work something from here, maybe. Into Bon Jovi, out to Bardini on this side. Into Dorian Heiser, who can't convert, and it stays at 1-0. We can't be messing this up. So far, Lasagna and Dorian not really in the game. Bring back that square pitch. Right, I'm going to get aggressive. Come on, let's show a bit of desire. And they all like it. Straight back underway. Let's get ourselves a goal in the game, please. I just feel like if we get one goal, we'll probably have two. And from two, you get three. You know where this is going. We're going to go more direct as well. We did it in the last game. It's Boloco. Early on in this half, tries to put the ball into the middle. Fails at it, though. And uh, I think this is just a highlight because I've made a change and not an actual highlight. Bon Jovi, corner, played in, cleared as far as Bandini, or Bandini, I guess it's Bandini, I guess it's Bandini, Bon Jovi again though, if you can put it into the middle, he can, but Stoney down to Luca. <sighs> Luca fires wide, come on boys, the gap between ourselves and Napoli is ever growing, and don't, and we, I mean, if we're not winning this one, we're in all sorts of bother, alright, Breeton's going to come on the left, Heisa, Batista up top through the middle, Miranda playing in the centre, Heisa up top on his own, and then, hmm, Toscano on, and Macopi on, win the game come on boys something else so we've made the pitch a little bit wider I mean, I'm changing what we've been playing all year, but I just feel as if we need to get the ball into the area a little bit more. We're not having shots. For, for like, It feels like we're having shots from outside the area, which are doing absolutely nothing. We've had a few on target from close range, and then we've had a few just sail wide. 20 minutes to go. We're going to get more structured as well. Don't work it into the box. Don't look for the overlap. Just get the ball into the middle. Exploit the flanks. Get the ball out wide. Get it whipped into Dorian. Someone. It's not happened. I mean, tactically, we could have, we could have approached this very differently. But I'll be honest, folks panic mode set in and there we are 1-0 Lavorno at home Napoli beat Bari because of course they did luckily for us that is our next game but if you're not beating Lavorno Ben what are you hoping for God, apparently I face an inquest right then six games to go not ideal I think the real issue isn't even the games we've got left really we play Atalanta Fiorentina in there should, as I say, should be relatively straightforward as I say Bari is our next game uh, and then we play Palermo again, a side that, well actually they're not doing too bad, a Palermo not, not too bad a side. So there we are then, and, and the problem really is that we are now five points behind Napoli, we've lost ten games this season, that's the issue. If you lose ten games, quite a, like Champions League qualification is going to be difficult I feel. And um, at this point with the top goal scorer, with the two best performing players, you really wonder why we're not up there, but we're not. So far we've had two clean sheets from Rico this season. Pozovec has collected 9, so 11 clean sheets so far this season. I just went from 33 games to have a third of your game's clean sheet. You probably need a few more in there. And I dare say that's been one of our problems this season. We're obviously scoring goals, Dorian's banging them in, but we're not keeping them out well enough. Which is strange, because you think about Ruben Diaz, he's, he's on a 7.4. He must be playing pretty well. But that, my friends, is going to bring us to the end. If you've enjoyed today's video, please do leave a like. If you can aim for a thousand likes, there'll be another episode tomorrow, 5pm, and I'll see you for it. We're in love with care. For me, that's Benji, until next time. Goodbye. This is now annoying. I'll say six games left. There's actually five. One of them's a cup final.